Hi everybody, this is Zach with Grow Freedom 1776. Uh, we're on our way into work. Um, it's April 1st. I just wanted to remind everybody um, it is definitely time to uh, get your vegetable garden going. Um, we need to put the tomatoes, peppers, squash, um, all that stuff needs to go in. Uh, you can probably wait on the sweet potatoes, your okra, your uh, melons, sweet potatoes. Um, they like it pretty warm and, you know, steady. But get those tomatoes and peppers and eggplant in. Uh, and we need to remember to feed our soil. Don't focus on feeding your plants. If you feed your soil, it'll feed your plants. Um, and what I mean by that is compost, organic matter, carbon, and you need to have make sure there's good bacteria and if the compost is actively composting they should be there but you can always introduce some um, mycorrhiza fungi or you can um, use compost tea uh, worm castings that are moist you know um, and then feed that those microorganisms uh, molasses uh, molasses has nitrogen, but it also has that sugar, that's, that sugar that, that those uh, microorganisms will feed on. Um, but other than that, we got lawn, lots of weeds. Uh, don't forget to turn on the irrigation if it's not r raining. Um, that lawn is waking up and it's time to feed it. You need uh, for Bermuda, uh, pre-emergent and high nitrogen, maybe some iron. Uh, for Zoysia and St. Augustine, uh, I would use a, a 312 ratio, so a 15, 5, 10, 9, 3, 4. It doesn't have to be specific as long as you have some phosphorus. Potassium, not much, but and then a little bit higher on the nitrogen. That's the main thing. Um, and what that does is make sure you got a good, healthy root system and a healthy plant to um, endure the summer. Your phosphorus feeds the root system. The potassium helps cell wall development. And there again, if you can have a little bit of iron and sulfur and you know some trace minerals, that will definitely help with disease and insects. Um, but it's a great spring day. Uh, it's sunny where I'm at. Get out there and enjoy the day. Visit a local garden center because um, they should be full of new plants. Down at McIntyre's, we're gonna have a, we have a bunch of stuff that came in this week. Um, thank you all for watching. This is just kind of a short video and just kind of a friendly reminder to get in the garden because uh, our time will slip by and we'll be hot and it'll be too late to plant all this stuff for at least a harvest this spring. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, I will beg for a sub subscription. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, um, but that will open up a, a lot of doors for us with this channel so even if you want to subscribe and turn the bell off that's fine uh, comment below um, if you have any questions i will try to get to them uh, thank you all for watching i appreciate your time